What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We're taking a look at Hogwarts Legacy here running on Boosteroid, one of the few ways you can play this game in the cloud. This is a install and play title, so you'll add this to your library and click install and play. It'll be a really quick game install process, not like a typical download and install, and then Steam's gonna open up for you just like it would on your PC, and you're gonna be able to go to your library, choose your game, which is Hogwarts, ready to go here. Make sure our save is synced and then just click play to launch into the game. So very similar to how your PC would work. If you want to see your FPS, you can go into your settings here as I'm showing you on screen. Go to in game, add those on there, and you can see what kind of FPS you're getting in the game. Now, as far as our settings, we're windowed full screen with the LSS on quality, 60 FPS and VSync on since we are streaming at 1080p 60 with motion blur and all of that turned off. We're going to stick with high on the settings. This game has some performance issues we'll talk about a little bit and all the ray tracing stuff is turned off for now. I recommend that until we really get some more fixes or this starts running better on VMs. But getting into the game itself, the performance is going to vary depending on where you're at with this game. And as I mentioned, there are some performance issues. Now, this is with the day one patch and the other patch that we had the other day. So I believe there's been two small patches for the game as far as the performance goes here. But like I said, depending on where you're at, it's going to depend on if you're getting something in the 30s or 40s or up somewhere in around 60 FPS. And this isn't all Boosteroid's fault. I've tested this game on Shadow as well. And it has some trouble on VMs where it's only using part of the resources. It doesn't do a great job with the GPU. And we've seen this with other titles on VMs as well. And hopefully that's something that will kind of get fixed up in future updates because the game can perform much better on the hardware that's being used here with the RTX 6000. But overall, even with that said, picture quality here was pretty decent for Boosteroid. They are getting a lot of new users and a lot of people playing, so they have put out some stuff saying they're working on trying to help with capacity. But my experience here during this session was pretty decent when it came to the picture quality and the performance of the game as far as just all the little issues and things that it has right now. And most importantly, during combat, input latency feels really good, which is something I've enjoyed with Boosteroid since they've come over here to the States. Even with their increased capacity here, the game's a little bit of issue they have at launch and with picture quality varying a little bit here and there the input latency has stayed really good for me and with my testing to the data center here I'm usually running around 18 to 22 milliseconds from my round trip latency so really not too bad and input latency feels good which is one of the most important things of course when it comes to the cloud and playing a game now a single player campaign game like this even with combat and everything you can get away with a little bit more. So I think this is a perfect title to be able to jump into Boosteroid and check out. But all in all, the experience is pretty good. If you guys are looking to check out Hogwarts on Boosteroid, there'll be a link in the description for you that you can click and go sign up and give it a shot. It helps support the channel and you can get in on it. Boosteroid's typically around $10 a month. You can keep an eye out for some promotions. They are expanding, increasing their technology, and they've really been doing a good job of getting a lot of high-end AAA titles onto the service as soon as they can. But anyways, guys, I'm really enjoying Hogwarts Legacy. I hope you guys are enjoying the game as well. If you're looking for a place to play it in the cloud, Boosteroid's definitely an option. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always, and I'll see you in the next one.